Hi guys and girls, I'm Reefman, and I wanted to do a quick video here just since a lot of you are probably going to be traveling for the holidays coming up. Um, remember, when you travel, you're going to a whole different uh, part of the country, and that means different importers maybe, different certainly hobbyists that sell frags at stores, all that stuff is going to be different when you go to a different region. So check them out, and you might wonder then, how would you get it home? Obviously it's easy if you drove, but on the plane, you know, you can only bring this tiny little vial of water on the plane, so how are you going to bring coral or fish? Um, it turns out that in America, at least, the TSA um, will allow you to bring coral and fish in water on uh, planes. The thing to keep in mind, though, is that it's up to the actual agent's discretion whether or not your fish is in an appropriate amount of water and so on. So. Um, there could still be that little asterisk there, but according to their website, you're allowed to do it. They do say, though, that you should minimize the overall amount of fluid, and also it has to be in a clear container. So um, I would recommend, if you're thinking about this, bring a little travel cooler like you'd use for, for you know, lunches or something like that. And inside there, you can put the bags that come from the local fish stores. A lot of local fish stores will also pack their bags using oxygen at least here in Southern California, they do that. If that could be done, then obviously you can keep that stuff in those bags for a lot longer than otherwise. Um, but you can do water changes, all that. You can definitely keep coral alive in a bag for a couple days. So I hope that was interesting and good luck with your travels. Enjoy the holidays. See you next time. Bye.